renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. Who is USAA made for? It's made for this guy, a veteran who honorably served. And it's made for her. She's serving now. We made it for all branches and all ranks. Whether they served one tour or made a career of it. We also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. USAA is easy to work with and can save you money on auto, home, and renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. Who is USAA made for? It's made for this guy, a veteran who honorably served. And it's made for her. She's serving now. We made it for all branches and all ranks. Whether they served one tour or made a career of it. We also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. USAA is easy to work with and can save you money on auto, home, and renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. And welcome to Twilight Baseball, the final game of day one of the Cricket Wireless 2021 Swag Tournament. First pitch is in for a strike. And our first batter representing Prairie View, uh, check that all corn, is Tyler Daniels. And our pitcher is Kyle Smith for Prairie View A&M. Joining me is Santoria Black. Long time analyst for SWAC Athletics, SWAC Sports. How are you doing, my friend? I'm well, sir. Been here a couple Mondays and a few Tuesdays, I guess. There you go. <laughs> they, I normally just go Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> and 0 2 pitch, and that's a swing and a miss. Now, we have the number one seed in Prairie View AM, which has had to overcome some obstacles, but we also have an all corn team. That, as they'll say, they found a way in. Yeah, they did. You know, they had a ton of injuries. They got six players back today, and that's big for Alcorn State. They haven't played in a couple of weeks. Been a lot of rain, as uh, their coach talked about. And so they've only gotten four practices in in the last 18 days uh, preparing for this tournament. You know, they did get a chance to hit the ball a little bit, get into the batting cage. But uh, it's been a challenge for Alcorn. Alcorn is the 4C coming out of the East, and this is actually a preview of what we'll see coming starting in 2021 because Alcorn will move over to the West. Yeah, they will, and I think that's going to be interesting. You know, everybody talks about football, and that's the obvious, you know, the, the money cow that you talk about is football. But when you start, start talking about some of the other sports, baseball, softball, basketball, this will really be interesting, Alcorn coming to the other side of the division. Count is one and two. And that one low and inside for ball two to even it out at two apiece. You know, I think about the last team that was added into the conference was 1999, and A&M was the, the, came over to the conference as the new team. They made the 10th team, and now you got two other teams coming in with FAMU and Bethune-Cookman. Swing and a miss. Kyle Smith gets his first K of the evening. And now to come all-conference player Tristan Garcia, who has a 448 batting average. And Kyle Smith right there, happy to get his first strikeout. Yeah, Garcia, one of those guys that, you know, they're going to really need him to put the bat on the ball. The key here for Alcorn State University today, as we see the sun setting here in the northern part of Alabama, they have got to make sure they don't leave guys on base. They have to make sure that they swing at strikes. Don't swing at things away from the strike zone. And you can see Tristan Garcia is built low to the ground. He's not one of those tall, linky guys, 6'3", whatever the case is. Tristan Garcia a little bit shorter, which makes it a little bit harder for the pitchers. And he hits that one high, but out of play. He was accounted one apiece. And Garcia, his average, 448, but it is skewed because they were only able to get 18 games in. And a lot of that had to do with not only COVID, but it also had to do with weather and mm -hmm. cancellations. Yeah, Garcia, uh, 448. He's played in 24 games this season. I think 18, 6 and 18 overall. Uh, just two games, I believe, out of conference all season long. And he fouls this one off. And when you're short in stature, sometimes those pitches are only going to hit certain spots. That's right. And he's got to find that spot and make sure his bat is right there on time. And Kyle Smith. So far, doing a good job keeping him at 0-2. 
You notice what the catcher has to do. He has to get so low to the ground. And this is a base hit, and Garcia once again proves that he's one of the best in the conference when it comes to getting on base. Yeah, you take a look at what uh, he's been able to do this year, 17 runs. He's got 43 hits leading the team, 57 total bases. And, you know, he doesn't strike out much, eight strikeouts all season long. So far, weather has been spectacular. Coming up to bat, Kylie, Kyle Jenkins, senior out of Jacksonville, Florida. We see the haze of the sun as it goes down here. And you may hear the pitter-patter of the helicopter that is flying off at a distance. I think they've been doing some training around here. Either that or somebody has an executive air service <laughs> waiting for them. I told Charles that yeah, his helicopter is going to be here pretty soon. Take him now, back to the hotel. Now, he told me it was yours. No. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, Charles has all the hookups. And Jenkins is going to take that one for ball one. You know, I look at what this Prairie View A&M team has done, and I hate to say they backed into first place in the West, but, you know, they had to wait until the end of the season. Grambling lost all three games against Arkansas Pond Bluff, which propelled Prairie View A&M to get that number one seed, and I'm really on the opposite side of the bracket. 2-0 pitch, and that one low to make it 3-0 to Jenkins. These yeah, teams did not meet during the regular season. Nope. And normally you'll have uh, some of the classics that will allow them to face each other during non-conference, but that did not happen this year. As they say the Andre Dawson Classic, mm -hmm. which was the MLB uh, HBCU Classic, uh, that was canceled due to COVID, weather, you name it, everything, everything else that was happening. A yeah, good venue down there in, uh, down there in Pontchartrain, or down on Lake, by Lake Pontchartrain uh, at Wesley Barrow Stadium. And the MLB Youth Academy, they put a great production on every single time. And Jenkins will get a free base on the walk. And now Brandon Rimbert will be up next for Alcorn. Here's the DH, number 18, He's one of those guys that was injured. And uh, hasn't been able to really do it, uh, you know, do what they thought he was going to do. Had a hamstring injury, as a matter of fact. And one of the things their head coach talked about is they did not want to put him in the field, risking uh, another hamstring injury. So he's going to be in a DH today. And this one, a fly ball to center. Damari Smith. Makes the catch, and Garcia acts like he's going to tag and quickly goes back to second base. Good throw there by Smith. Yeah, that's good defense, and that's what you have to do if you're Prairie View A&M is you have to make sure you're playing good defense. It's not just about getting the out, but it's also about making sure, as you can see here on this replay, you got to make sure that you make certain that those runners don't advance. Just a heck of a throw from center field to keep that runner right there at second base. Got to have your head in the ball game. Good job of making himself prepared to catch it and throw. Hunter Wilson to, to bat for Alcorn. Hunter Wilson, another one of those guys just coming back from injury. And, man, talk about a big fella that stands in there and a little bit more intimidating. He's not, not exactly like Tristan Gar Garcia. He is not short stature. Uh, he, can, he can put the ball on the bat, uh, bat on the ball, hitting 242. Well, I think that uh, Coach McNair may ask him to come and play offensive line. He stands 6'4", 280. Yeah, he's, he's a big boy. Oof, he's really a guard? He would be a guard on the football field. Not sure how his feet are, but, you know, if he's batting, that means he's got some quick reaction. Now we're on the outside, and now Wilson is ahead on the count, two and one. Being disciplined at the plate. And, you know, you got a pitcher here who can have a good sweeping curveball, so you got to make sure that they watch how that ball has is the movement of this ball as it's uh, coming towards the plate. He fouls that one off to even the count at two apiece. We've got runners on first and second. No score, top half of the first inning. 
final game of day one of the 2021 Cricket Wireless SWAC baseball tournament. Did right. some good baseball today, too. No doubt about it. 2-2 Two -two pitch. And a strikeout and a little emotion coming from Kyle Smith as the Braves leave two and Smith struck out two. And we'll go to the bottom half of the first inning. Prayer View will come up to bat right here on the SWAT Digital Network. Who is USAA made for? It's made for this guy, a veteran who honorably served, and it's made for her. She's serving now. We made it for all branches and all ranks. Whether they served one tour or made a career of it, we also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. USAA is easy to work with and can save you money on auto, home, and renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Mega. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Mega. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Welcome back to Twilight Baseball here in Madison, Alabama, home of the Rocket City Trash Pandas. And I will ask you, as I ask uh, my compatriot, do you know what a trash panda is? I do not. You do not? No. You do not know what a trash panda I is? I wish I and did. And you're in Grambling. I, I, I wish I did. It's a raccoon. Oh, okay. Yes, a trash panda is a raccoon. Gotcha. All right, our picture today. <laughs> uh, you know, in, in Wisconsin, we just call them critters. Correct. <laughs> but Trash Panda is the nouveau way. Gotcha. Okay. For raccoon. It's chic. That's the chic it's way. It's chic. It's chic. And uh, the Rocket City <laughs> Trash Panda's double-A program, this is their first official year. They were supposed to open last year. COVID canceled everything. So wonderful field here at Toyota Field in Madison, Alabama, right outside of Huntsville. Our pitcher today is Jose Fernandez for Alcorn State. He comes in with a 2.7 ERA, and he is indicative of the season for Alcorn. Great numbers, 49 strikeouts, but a 1-6 record. Yeah, and he's got, a, he's got a tremendous ERA, one of the best in the conference. And there was argument on whether or not he should have been on the all-conference team because of his ERA. I think a lot of people looked at his record and shot away from it because he was just 1-6. And, and Fernandez with a nice flip over to Jenkins for out number one. I mean, look at that kid. He is huge. I told you, he's a guard. I mean, there's no way that, you know, that coach, that, that coach shouldn't be calling and say, hey, man, when you get done with baseball season, you come over here and play football. He is well, humongous. Well, it's how you communicate. You got to communicate. Be nice. It's baseball. Remember, Yeah. we got big guys in baseball, but not necessarily guys who want to have that kind of contact. Nice butt there by Jefferson, and Jenkins <laughs> picks it up. But Garcia is not over there in time, so Xavier Jefferson outruns the defense in order to get an infield single. Yeah, that was just great base running, just hustling on and out. But Alcorn, again here, defensively, you got to make sure that you are sound. As soon as the ball was contacted there and you saw that the bunt was laid down, you knew it was coming down the first baseline. That's when that second baseman should have been coming over a little bit sooner in order to cover the bag or even the pitcher moving up because that was really going to be a tough, uh, a tough ball to field. Benjamin Yabera to bat for the Panthers of Prairie View. One out here in the bottom of the first. Number one seed, Prairie View A&M, going up against the number four seed, Alcorn State. Now 
pitch outside for a ball. You know, if I'm Alcorn, you know, you just got to take things one at a time. But don't hurt yourself defensively. And we can see that that can, that can really weigh on you. And that's how you get base runners. And a good hit right there. Daniels throws at Jenkins to get out number two. But Jefferson advances to second base. So Yubera did his job and moved the runner over. Second out of the inning now for Alcorn State University. And, and, you know, the biggest thing here now is just make sure that you don't let that run across the plate if you're the Braves. And this one high and goes back over into the grandstands. Good to see the fans coming from all corn. Got a mm -hmm. few from Southern and Prairie View. Coley picks it up, finds Jenkins at first base, and they get out of it. They do leave one man on. No runs, and we do have one infield hit. And we'll go to the top of the second inning. No score here in the SWAT Digital Network. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun Mega Sale. Mega. Who is USAA made for? It's made for this guy, a veteran who honorably served. And it's made for her. She's serving now. We made it for all branches and all ranks. Whether they served one tour or made a career of it. We also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. USAA is easy to work with and can save you money on auto, home, and renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. USAA. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Leading off the top half of the second inning for the Braves, Jarius Coley, young man out of Biloxi, Mississippi. And first pitch inside for a ball. Well, I'll tell you, this is where Alcorn State, you know, they, they've really got to make some noise. You don't want to have to play from behind. And really what the coach has talked about is playing from ahead, not behind. And this one fouled back. Beautiful night for baseball. Wind is blowing in out of left field. So hitting it high may not be your best out. And this one is fouled back off again by Coley. You know, with Alcorn, you look at what happened the last, I don't know, three weekend, two weekends of the season. And, you know, th that's where they really struggled at. They did not uh, play. They didn't play well against Jackson. They had one close game there, losing six to four. Swept by Alabama A and M, although you had a couple of close games. And then, of course, you were dominated by Alabama State in the final series of the season. And they say Coley did not break the plane. He evens it up at two apiece. And you take a look at the replay here on Swack Digital Network. Ooh. Close, but didn't quite swing. That was close, though. Now the count is full at three and two on Jarius Coley. If you're Coley, what you want to do is just get the ball in play here. Don't try to kill it. Just get the ball in play. And he gets a free ride. Walk. Earned by Coley. Good eye, and now Khalil Smith will come up for the Braves. Discipline at the plate. I think that's what coaches talk about a lot. 
is that especially, you know, sometimes you find yourself you're behind or you find yourself that you want to really make something happen and you force it and you don't look at what the pitcher is giving you. You notice there a few of those pitches low and in the zone, couldn't quite get, get that pitch up and high, and that's because sometimes the release point, I think, was a little bit too late and caused the ball to sink a little bit too much. Another inside pitch to lead the count at 1-0. and Seems like whatever that pitch is that Smith is trying to throw, he's not really getting a good grip on the ball because it's going high and inside. Yeah, it seems to be slipping out of his hand there a little bit early. And this time he connects and hits Khalil Smith on the inside of the thigh. And that will be his first hit by pitch. And now we have runners. We will once Smith gathers himself at first and second. Watch how he releases this ball. And you can see why it's going to the inside. Way outside. So instead of he's trying to get that ball to sweep. And instead of what he's doing is he's really releasing it so early. And he's got his arms so far out that the ball doesn't have time to come back around. And instead it's staying onto the inside. And this time it cost him a batter. And Smith makes it over to first base. And now here comes Tyler Smith. Out of Vicksburg, Mississippi. It appears that Khalil and Tyler are not related. Throwback. And in time, great play there by Kyle Smith. They're able to get the throwdown, but they, now we're going to have a meeting. I don't, I don't think he got him here. Let's see. And good call there by Coley to stay on base. And, oh, depends on what we got. Let's take a look at it this from behind be, the plate. It's going to be the best view right here. You can see that throw right there. Picked him off. And it looked like he may have just gotten back before he touched him. So the ball was there in time, but the tag was on his head. His arm went around and looks like he may have gotten there. Take a look one more time. Tyler was showing bunt. And now we're going to have a... That center cam view is probably the best one that you can see here. And you can see right here the throw. Right there. His arm got around him. He touched him on the head, but it looked like his arm was able to get around him before. And we take another look, and this is what the umpires will take a look at in the replay. Right there. You see where his hand is? And he hasn't touched him mm. yet. His glove is right down here. And then it comes up and it touches his shoulder. I don't know. It may, it may be because we got to remember his glove is white. The plate is white. Here's his arm, arm right there. There's his glove right down there on the ground. Mm -hmm. I think it's, if it's that close, they're going to call him out. Just my opinion. Yeah. And, and just looking at it, I just don't think he got him unless he got him on that shoulder early, and here's the throw once again, and you can see here comes his arm, arm comes around, there comes his glove, goes down on the ground. But, but the thing is, because we can't see from the first base angle, all we see is the white glove going in front of the bag. Now, we don't know if it physically touched it, but we know it's right there even with it. And that umpire that's right there at first base can physically see if he's touching the bag. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a, it's gonna be a tough one. And you, you got a good point there. I just don't know if he, t I don't, just don't know if he uh, touched him. Even then, I saw where his glove was on the ground. And they will confirm it, and it is an out. Yep, right there. It looks, like his it looks like his glove is right there on the bag. But as you said, we can only see that. We can't see what the official sees here. Mm-hmm. And so it looks like that the glove was just touching the ground. But, again, mm -hmm. it's hard to see that. So now just Khalil Smith on first. And Coley is thrown out at second base. 
First pitch for the third consecutive batter in for a ball. That's an awfully tough bang bang play to uh, to see. I mean, you you really it, it's almost like you would have to be on top of that because even if you came from a center field cam, you would only be able to see the other side of that bag. That one fouls out on the first base line. Crowd is growing as night comes down and the lights are starting to come on here at Toyota Field. One one delivery from Smith. Tyler Smith looks at it and it's a call strike. Yeah, that was a good pitch right there, hitting that outside of that plate. Tyler out of Vicksburg, Mississippi. He'll also pitch a few innings if given the chance. Swing and a miss, and this is a one that sails very high and a strikeout first, second strikeout of the day for Kyle Smith and two outs. And now we've got Khalil Smith in scoring position with Jamil Benacourt to bat. And now what they're saying is that there was another out, and yes, it's three outs. We take one more look at it. Oh, and they're saying that there was interference by the batter. So that means that the throw, as you can see, uh, Tyler, look at Tyler. He steps directly in, in front, front of, of Gordon, the catcher. So then that would constitute the out at second base. And now we go to the bottom half of the second inning. No runs and no hits for anyone as of yet. And we'll be right back right here on the SWAC Digital Network. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun Mega Sale. Mega. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun Mega Sale. Mega. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today. To focus on my future, we are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. All right. Each team has a hit apiece, and now we go to the bottom half of the second inning. Braden Johnson, the bat, and he gets a nice blooper. Khalil Smith right there for the catch out, number one. And with the wind blowing in, anything in the air, it's going to be a push to see if you can get it over someone's head or out the park. Yeah, we saw that earlier today. I saw a couple of shots going to center field, and you saw that wind blowing in like that and kept a few balls from going over the fence. Sebastian Cora to pitch um, to hit now for Prairie View A&M. I don't know quite the dimensions, but they're very different when you look in, into left field compared to left center. It's Same thing on the right side as well. Left center is 385, and right center is 375. Down the line is 326. Dead center is 400. This one fouled back, and once again hits the VIP section. Bounces off, and a fan is able to get a souvenir. Earlier in the game, I, we saw a couple of guys that were able to hit the ball down the third base line and it curved, hit the inside part of that wall down there and bounced back in. And it was very hard for them to feel. Mm -hmm. And then when they had to come back in and try to get the ball, you saw the runner was able to advance to second, sometimes even to third base, and a couple runs were scored. And so there's, the dimensions are a little different in this ballpark. And what makes this one even more difficult, this is the first time for many of the teams to play here. I think maybe Alabama A&M may be one of the few teams that's got one, and Garrett Palladino able to get out number two. 
Yeah, I, I noticed that today, and it's it's really different when you're trying to judge the ball because normally the the walls are pretty straight down the line, and mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you see this in left field where that ball angles in or that wall does, and as soon as that ball goes down the line, if it goes fair and then curves back in, that left fielder's got a heck of a haul to try to come and get that ball when it bounces back. Andrew Garcia batting 333 on the year with 25 hits and one home run, 15 RBIs. Two outs. Trying to get on base to keep the at-bat alive for the Panthers. No score here in the bottom half of the second. Final game of day one of the SWAT baseball tournament. This one goes right over to Jenkins. Hands it over to Fernandez, and he outruns the base runner to get out number three. Three up, three down. We're going to go to the top half of the third inning. No score right here on the SWAT Digital Network. I'm really not looking forward to calling this credit repair company. Fresh meat for the monthly fee grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, check this out. With Credit Versio, you can do everything yourself without having to call someone, and it's easy and fast. Sweet. Credit Versio scans all three credit bureaus, finds the accounts hurting your credit, and creates powerful dispute letters. This is way faster and cheaper than paying a credit repair company. That was easy. I can do this. I'm really not looking forward to calling this credit repair company. Fresh meat for the monthly fee grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, check this out. With Credit Versio, you can do everything yourself without having to call someone, and it's easy and fast. Sweet. Credit Versio scans all three credit bureaus, finds the accounts hurting your credit, and creates powerful dispute letters. This is way faster and cheaper than paying a credit repair company. That was easy. I can do this. Who is USAA made for? It's made for this guy, a veteran who honorably served. And it's made for her. She's serving now. We made it for all branches and all ranks. Whether they served one tour or made a career of it, we also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. USAA is easy to work with and can save you money on auto, home, and renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Top half of the third inning, number nine hole hitter Jamil Bittencourt to hit for the Braves. This one goes foul right into the right field grandstands. Last time these two teams won a SWAC tournament championship, of course, in 2011. Alcorn State winner and head coach Barrett Ray, of course, he went to Southern University, played under Roger Cador and in mm -hmm. Prairie View in 2012. Under Waskala, Cullivan won the tournament that year. Starting in 21, it will be the champion's division. Swing and a miss and a K. Third K of the evening for Kyle Smith. That's just solid pitching. Working the, working the zone. Catcher doing a great job calling the game and getting him to swing a little bit off balance as well, I might add. Starting in 21, everyone in the West, except for Arkansas Pine Bluff, would have been a conference champion within the last 15 years. Mm, yeah. And that's a base hit there by Tyler Daniels, and it gets out over to Xavier Jefferson in right field, and they'll keep him at bay at first base with a single. Great opportunity for these teams if you get a chance to go to a regional. And I remember when Grambling won their last conference championship. I believe it was then 10, and they ended up going into the Arkansas Regional. And you talk about it's like a triple-A ballpark up there. Absolutely yes. incredible. Yes, yes. They do put a lot of schools to shame, but when you've got the kind of dollars and support that they have, uh, they can outspend anybody when it comes to baseball. And this one for Garcia is going to hit over in the left center. Calling off Johnson is DeMarie Smith, and he is able to get out number two. That took a ride, but again, that wind blowing in, and you could tell that the wind had an effect on that ball. If that, ball, if that wind is blowing out, that thing may have either hit the wall or go out. Mm -hmm. And for Kyle Jenkins, now hitters need to make the adjustment Try not to hit it up, but hit it straight or on the ground. The 
Good and pitch. That one outside called ball. Coach Richardson in his sixth season at the helm of the Alcorn State Braves. And they have had some battles this year. Now going to swing and a miss. You know, we all, we all know that spring can do some funny things with the weather in the south, especially in Louisiana. Yep. And in the lower part of Mississippi. And, you know, Alcorn had so many rainouts this year, just so many rainouts where they couldn't practice, couldn't play games. Then you had the whole pandemic issue. So they really battled a lot this year. And I think at some point we'll start to see more schools in the conference make the decision to go to church. Yes, uh, yeah, I would agree with that because it's going to be so much easier. I think Mich either Michigan or Indiana is now all turf. Even the infield is turf. The only thing that uh, is not artificial is the actual mound on the mm -hmm. field, and that's mm -hmm. because, you know, look at the weather up there. And in, when you had that kind of weather, you want to have the versatility of your field to be able to make it happen. And making it over to second base is Daniels. Now runner in scoring position for Kyle Jenkins. You know, when your field is turf, you save on paint, you save on chalk, you save on a lot of different things. But the other thing is is that your field is saved in a lot of cases when you have all of that really damaging rain and things like that. Well, it brings up the interesting question when you think about uh, minority participation in baseball. Let's talk right after this pitch by Kyle Smith. And that one's still on the outside. Umpire is not giving him that outside corner. Makes the count full at three and two. Baseball is the only sport from Little League uh, up through college where the players have to be responsible for the field. That's right. And in the 21st century, I think that may be one of the big turnoffs when you have young people, particularly minorities, trying to go out for the sport. 3-2 pitch coming from Smith. And called strike three, and Jenkins is looking like I really wanted to swing at that, but I didn't. The fourth strikeout for Kyle Smith. As we go to the break, we'll continue the conversation. But another strikeout for Kyle Smith. 0-0 zero, zero is your score as we go to the bottom half of the third inning right here on the SWAC Digital Network. Who is USAA made for? It's made for this guy, a veteran who honorably served, and it's made for her. She's serving now. We made it for all branches and all ranks, whether they served one tour or made a career of it. We also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. USAA is easy to work with and can save you money on auto, home, and renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Time to call a credit repair company to fix my credit. Hold the phone, man. You can do it yourself with Credit Versio. That's way too hard. Call the credit repair company. Most credit repair companies only work on one or two accounts at a time, making it slow and expensive. You won't figure that out for months. <laughs> Ignore him. Credit Versio's brilliant software scans all three credit bureaus, finds the accounts that are hurting your score, and guides you through the entire process. Anyone can do it. Let's fast forward and see the results. <laughs> wow, I fixed my own credit and saved hundreds. You can do this. Visit creditversio.com. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. And bottom half of the third inning, Zach Trevino to bat for Prairie View a and Now, if you're Prairie View, the key here now is, is that you want to start uh, making some things happen. You got one hit in the ball game. And trying to make it happen, but Tyler Smith is right there and left to make the easy catch route number one. It goes back to a point that you brought up. You got to keep that ball low. Or on the ground. You don't need to have that thing go up in the air. As soon as you do, it's going to get caught 
in, in some of that wind, and you're going to get some easy outs. My old coach, Roger Cato, would say, look at the flag. Mm -hmm. If the flag is waving at you in your face, don't hit a pop fly. Mm -hmm. Do whatever you got to do, but don't hit a pop fly. Hit it on the ground. Called strike to Tyler Gordon, his first at bat this evening. Well, you talk about Coach Cato, and I think about just all of these great coaches that have been through this conference. Bob Brady at Jackson State, Candy Robinson at Texas Southern. There's a strike call right in there. Uh, you know, Coach Cato or Coach Ellis at Grambling. I mean, just so many great coaches that have been through this conference and that have set up other coaches that, have, that are coaching now. No doubt about it, and I think uh, with Dr. McClellan at the helm, they'll have more to celebrate. Uh, those living legends and those who have passed on. And now for Tyler Gordon, a single, and Alcorn has a man on with one out. I think he was listening to you. <laughs> Keep that on the ground. And, wow, right past the pitcher's left shoulder. And he was screaming, and that was low enough where it was going to be hard for the uh, second baseman to come over and try to make a play. And so now Prairie View has one aboard. Damari Smith to bat. He's the leadoff hitter for the Panthers. Looking for his first hit of the tournament. And now a bunt, and it's going to go foul. And Hunter Jenkins right there. Now, I just need to know if Coach McNair brings out big number 34 and gets him on the football team. You know, we do want to take credit. That oh, we absolutely. The there is no doubt and about that. And there he is right there. He is nimble on his feet. Yeah. Able. Now, he, you know, he may have to get in the weight room a little bit, but he's right there. And he can get down, which means that you can get into a stance. <laughs> telling you, man. That dude, is a, that dude is a true earth mover. <laughs> oh, goodness. That one ball on the outside. You know, we talked about great coaches, and uh, a, another great coach is going to be entered into the College Baseball Hall of Fame this year. Won two SWAC championships in the uh, late 50s, and that's Bob Lee. That's it. Yes, sir. And oh. A swing and a miss, and yes, he did his job. Did get called for the strike, but Gordon was able to advance. Ter on the steal. Terrible swing here by the batter. That ball was in the dirt. But that's what you have to do when you're trying to advance the runner. You've got to swing. Even yeah. though your mind is telling you no, coach says it's a hit and run, you swing. And that's what he did, and he followed the instructions to a T, and he swung. And he that's did. what you're supposed to do. And that split second is all that he needed, a high throw. Garcia's right there to make the catch. But if it goes the other way, and here's a bunt, and they're going to move the runner over to third base. And now, great job there by Smith. He's able to put Gordon in scoring position. I think they call that unselfish baseball. That's what baseball is all about. Yeah. It is about sacrifice. That's why they have a sack fly, mm -hmm. sacrifice bunt, all those things. And he put that in perfect territory, too. Called strike, and some of the Prairie View fans are saying that, oh, no, that was a little low. Got a lot of umpires in the sand. Of course, always. And that one high to even the count at one apiece. Favorite part of the game. What is your favorite part of the game of baseball? My favorite part of the game would be a double play. A double play is poetry in motion, and Jenkins right there to get the force, and Prairie View unable to score, and they leave one left on, and they were able to get one hit. As we go to the top of the fourth, no score, and Jenkins showing those nimble feet right there for the Braves right here on the Swag Digital Network. I'm really not looking forward to calling this credit repair company. Fresh meat for the monthly fee grinder. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. With Credit Versio, you can do everything yourself without having to call someone, and it's easy and fast. Sweet. Credit Versio scans all three credit bureaus, finds the accounts hurting your credit, and creates powerful dispute letters. This is way faster and cheaper than paying a credit repair company. That was easy. I can do this.
Who is USAA made for? It's made for this guy, a veteran who honorably served. And it's made for her. She's serving now. We made it for all branches and all ranks. Whether they served one tour or made a career of it. We also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. USAA is easy to work with and can save you money on auto, home, and renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Mega. And up for Alcorn is Brandon Rembert. Looking for his first hit of the evening. And that one a call strike on the outside. Rembert has only played in seven games this year, hitting about 280. Goes back to what you said. You know, he's not, not a bad player at all, but he's been injured most of the season. Now we're going to call strike. And talking to Coach Richardson, they weren't sure if they were going to have a season because, you know, at the top of the food chain, their football team opted out, and they didn't know how that would affect them. A check swing goes over the Yabera and – Easy throw over to Martinez for the first out. But they, they got the assurance that they were going to play, but then that's when they had the cancellations. But he said, amazing, his players were responsible enough not to have a COVID case. So that says well about them. That's the other thing is that a lot of these student athletes, you have to make the decision to understand what team is all about mm -hmm. and not doing things that are extracurricular that you're going to go out to the little kickbacks or whatever the case is. Shortstop Trevino deep in the hole and makes a play, and Hunter Wilson shows a little speed for a big man, but not enough to get to first base, and Zach Trevino throws him out. That was just a heck of a play here by the shortstop because he had to go down. Well, this was the, the Alcorn play, but he had to reach down he had to go away from his body to reach it and then get control enough to throw the ball over and not throw it over the first baseman's head so that was really a great play by the shortstop Kali walked his last time up still no score here top half of the fourth and this one goes right off the inside of the bat and Trevino once again making a great play at shortstop. One, two, three, down goes the Braves. As we go to the bottom half of the fourth inning, no score. Only two hits apiece for each team right here on the SWAG Digital Network. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh. Mom, you have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun, mega sale. Mega. I'm really not looking forward to calling this credit repair company. Fresh meat for the monthly fee grinder. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. With Credit Versio, you can do everything yourself without having to call someone, and it's easy and fast. Sweet. Credit Versio scans all three credit bureaus, finds the accounts hurting your credit, and creates powerful dispute letters. This is way faster and cheaper than paying a credit repair company. That was easy. I can do this. I'm really not looking forward to calling this credit repair company. Fresh meat for the monthly fee grinder. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. With Credit Versio, you can do everything yourself without having to call someone, and it's easy and fast. Sweet. Credit Versio scans all three credit bureaus, finds the accounts hurting your credit, and creates powerful dispute letters. This is way faster and cheaper than paying a credit repair company. That was easy. I can do this. I'm really not looking forward to calling this credit repair company. Fresh meat for the monthly fee grant. Back to live action here at the 2021 Cricket Wireless SWAC Baseball Tournament in Madison, Alabama. Toyota Field, home of the Rocket City Trash Pandas. James Red, along with Santoria Black. Fourth inning, and 
hits off of Coley's arm. And for Prairie View A&M, Benjamin Yabera batting 385. He gets his first hit of the game. Yeah, you can't call that an error. I don't think you can at least. No, I think that'll be a base hit. Yeah. And now Alex Martinez looking for his first hit of the game. Runner on first. And this one fouled back out of the stadium for strike one. I remember when I was in SID and uh, I first really I was in charge of all the scoring. Had done a lot of scoring before, but some of the hops and stuff like that I wasn't familiar with. And Grambling played Southern and Coach Cato says, hey, bro, you can't give that a You can't get out of air. That's a Baltimore hop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. when I found out what a Baltimore <laughs> hop was. <laughs> High and out of play for a foul. All of the idiosyncrasies of baseball, and sometimes it does come down to a judgment play. What would be a hit at home sometimes may be a error on the road. That's right. And this is another base hit. Runners now at first and second. Alex Martinez gets his first hit of the evening, hitting it out to Tyler Smith, quickly getting it in, and now we're starting to see the starts of a rally. For the Panthers. Yeah, he just left that ball right there, just below the waist. Went down, he got it, left it where it was just a straight hit, nothing up in the air. Nice shot. Now you got runners in first and second, and this one where Alcorn really has to be careful. Runners at first and second, nobody out. Braden Johnson to bat for the Panthers. His last time up, he flied out, and that one trying to swing, and it gets right past third baseman Daniels, and Yabera will score on the pass ball, and now it is one nothing in favor of the Panthers. Mistakes, that's what will get you every time, and pass ball that time scores the run. It moves over the runner over to third base, and you can see it here right there just bounced. He thought he was going to come up with the ball and it was bringing his glove up, and instead the ball stayed down and rolled into left field. That's a call strike. Now Braden Johnson with a chance to get an RBI with Martinez at third base. That's a tough play to make, really, if you're at their third base. Swing and a miss. And a K, first K of the... Night for Jose Fernandez. And I might add, that's just the first out of the inning. <laughs> hmm? That's just the first out of the inning. <laughs> yep, and they got two more to go. Correa to bat for Prairie View. Call strike. And now for Fernandez with a 1-6 and six record, 2.7 ERA. He's going to have to bear down in order to get out of this one. That's a skip. Good stop there by filling game, the catcher. Trying to get that ball to curve and then drop, and instead it just hits the ground. And this one hit foul down the left field line. Tell you what, I've been had a chance to go to a lot of different tournaments for the SWAC. Wesley Barrow in New Orleans went to... Fort Worth, tournament's been in Shreveport before, Dallas. And, you know, this is really a nice ballpark here, really, really nice. And hit by a pitch is Korea. Now we'll have runners at the corner. And now it looks like we will have a quick meeting. Oh, no, coach is just trying to check to make sure what happened. And now Andrew. we're going to have a meeting between the umpires. Now, it looks like it just hit him on the ankle. One of the, uh, one of the great tournaments that I had a chance to go to, it was just a real intimate setting. It was really nice. When Southern hosted the tournament, it was really nice down in Baton Rouge. Mm -hmm. uh, Roger Cato had a very good relationship with uh, the mayor and the city council in Baton Rouge, and they really wanted to put on a good show. 
And it's one of the few places in the South where you have multiple college baseball stadiums and multiple teams that have competitive baseball teams. Mm -hmm. Take another look to see. And it hit him on the inside of the thigh, but the ball bounced on the ground, so not exactly sure why uh, Richardson was protesting that. May have just to give his pitcher a breather. Swinging a miss now with Andrew Garcia batting for the Panthers. Better matchup because we had that sweeping curve and that ball that breaks down. It's a little bit harder for a left-hand batter to hit this ball than it is on the right side. Lefty on lefty. And this time he's going to hit it high and out of play onto the upper concourse here at Toyota Field. I had about a two- or three-year baseball career, ninth to tenth grade, and that was about it. That was it? That was about it, bro. What happened after tenth grade? I got hit in the throat. The throat? Yeah. You couldn't a, duck? There was a ball that bounced really uh, really bad off the dirt, and I timed it wrong, and it hit me in the throat in ninth grade. And that was it? That, well, that was the start of the end, beginning <laughs> of the end. <laughs> I was a decent fielder, but just it, when it came to the hitting thing, you know, my eyes and the ball didn't get along too well. No. Oh. <laughs> All right, Zach Trevino up to bat next with two outs. Runners at first and third. Trevino looking for his first hit. Now, you know that when the ball skips like that, you got to turn your whole body. Yeah, nobody told me that, though. Man. I just, ah. you know. now, now, tell me this. When did you start playing? I started playing in about sixth grade. Ah, see, that's yes. where when you're playing seven, eight years old, that's when you get hit all over the place. Yeah. And then you learn over time, okay, I got to move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when you start in sixth grade, some of those pitchers have a little bit more control. They, they really do, <laughs> yeah. And that's a ball on the outside. Funny thing is I did all right. In ten, I did okay in 10th grade. And coach says, hey, you want to be the PA announcer? Mm. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> And called strike. It did hit the outside corner this time. One, two, and this one is low, and Philling Gain keeps it in front of him. The, the one thing about baseball I learned a lot about, I had a chance to go with scouts for a long time uh -huh. when they were going and looking at players. And one of the things that they talk about a lot when it comes to pitchers is not how hard you throw, but it's how the control that you have and what you can make the batters do even with bad pitches. And Jose Fernandez gets his second strikeout, and that's in the same inning. They will leave two left on. And we did get one run that came across. And we have a one nothing lead in favor of the Panthers as we go to the top half of the fifth inning right here on the SWAC Digital Network. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers. That motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers, and this is my heritage. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Ta-da. And we're here at the top half of the fifth inning. one nothing is your score with one run scoring on a pass ball for Prairie View A&M. Now it's up to Alcorn to see if they can answer here in the top half of the fifth. 
Khalil Smith looking for his first hit of the evening, and he hits this one, a long strike to left field. Going back is Johnson, and right on the track, he makes the catch, and that is the first out of the fifth. And with that wind still blowing in, anything high, it's going to stay in. And that ball was – the pitch was really to the inside, and he really did a great job in turning on the ball and getting it out. But, again, that if that wind is blowing out a little bit, that may be one that goes over the fence. Now Tyler Smith to bat for the Braves. Foul tip for Smith. He struck out his first time up in the bottom half of the second. Winner of this game will have to play at noon tomorrow. Luckily, they don't have to play the grits and eggs portion of baseball at 9 a.m., but still early after you play a late game. Swing and a miss for strike two. That's the tough part about the tournament is that when you get in that loser's bracket, it's a long way to get back out. No doubt about it. But you've had a number of teams to do it here oh in the yeah. swag. Seeing teams go from the loser's bracket all the way into the championship game. So mm -hmm. it's, it's very possible. And it's really not about sometimes the best team coming in. It's who's hot at that time. No doubt about it, because if you look at it on paper, everybody should just turn in their bats and balls and gloves and give the championship to Jackson State That's because right. of their impressive record. But as we saw today, even with that record, teams can put a scare in them, which they did earlier today. And we saw Prairie View is a prime example. You know, they weren't the number one seed when they won that conference championship. And, you know, they ended up winning it uh, that year. Jackson has been a team that is was, was snake bit. They've been the number one seed and been beaten in the tournament. I think, you know, this year is more pressure, I think, on Jackson because of what Alabama State did a few years back. Same mm -hmm. circumstance. You go undefeated in conference play, and you're expected to sweep the entire conference. And, you know, and, and that was one of those things that when Marvin Melendez was the coach at Alabama State, he said there's a lot of pressure on us, and they were very emotional after the game. Mm -hmm. And this one will go foul right up against the right field barrier. Well, I think for a championship ball club, you've got to win in a lot of different ways. And for Jackson, we've seen a little bit of that, but I don't know if we've seen a, larger, a large enough serving, and that's a ball. Makes the count full at three and two. If it was a full regular season, yeah. I think we would, you know, you would have more of a consensus. And right back to Smith, and he's going to pitch it right back over to Martinez for out number two. Just great fielding here by the pitcher, regathering himself, getting the ball, nice little soft toss. And a lot of people want to know, if you're not a baseball aficionado, why does a pitcher have trepidation about throwing to first base? Well, you know, you play baseball. And, you know, when I look at pitchers, you know, one of the things that happens sometimes is they overthrow the ball. Mm -hmm. They can throw the ball short. And I've seen that a lot is when a pitcher has a ball and they, they try to – and I don't know what it is about the distance or whatever, but I've seen pitchers just completely muff that throw and cause an error. Trevino bobbles it, throws it, and makes a strike to get the third out of the inning. And Trevino, even with a bobble, able to have a strong enough arm to get the out. Three up, three down for the Braves as we go to the bottom half of the fifth inning with Trevino's strong arm. It is still one nothing in favor of the Panthers right here on the SWAC Digital Network. Uh, Khalil Smith, what did he do? <coughs> Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun Mega Sale. Mega. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun Mega Sale. Mega. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us. 
to great heights. Because my history is forged by trailblazers. That motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. I'm really not looking forward to calling this credit repair company. Fresh meat for the monthly fee grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, check this out. With Credit Versio, you can do everything yourself without having to call someone, and it's easy and fast. Sweet. Credit Versio scans all three credit bureaus, finds the accounts hurting your credit, and creates powerful dispute letters. This is way faster and cheaper than paying a credit repair company. That was easy. I can do this. Bottom half of the fifth inning, number nine hole hitter, Tyler Gordon, looking for his second hit of the evening. Had a hit and a stolen base. In the third, Daniels picks it up, throws his sidearm, and the outstretched Jenkins right there able to make the play. Just good defense here. Down the third baseline. And something that and you could see the first baseman, he had actually jumped in order to get that ball. And then when he landed, make sure that he landed on the base to get him out. Throws a little bit high. Called strike on Damari Smith. Leadoff batter for the Panthers. Battle for purple and gold here today. Some things that look routine aren't exactly routine. Uh, yes. And... When you come off of an injury or when you come off of a break, that's when you finally realize that. And for a lot of these athletes, if they've been away from the game, if it's been three weeks, two weeks, they've had an injury, they've had a COVID break, whatever it is, you do have some rust, mm -hmm. and you try to work that rust off. Got to give a lot, of uh, a lot of credit to Hunter Wilson because it just looked like, oh, he went up, he got the ball, and, and he was just out. But he actually had to jump and then make sure that when he landed that his foot was touching the bag. And... You know, that's a mark of a good first baseman to know where he is, what's going on, even with a high throw. That one is caught in right field by Pelodendo. Right fielder, number three, Xavier Jefferson. And now Xavier Jefferson up to bat. for the Panthers. That's a ball. Some of the preview players thought the pitch was a little bit low. And a called strike for strike two. <clears throat> Fernandez starting to find his groove. Just needs some offensive help right now, trailing one to nothing. That one low. He was accounted two apiece. And this again, lefty against lefty. When you've got a good sweeping pitch, this is where you can take advantage of that because it looks like it's going to stay inside and it all of a sudden comes right over the plate. Prime example, just jammed him on the inside. He thought it was going to come out just a little bit more, and it jammed him, and now it's two and two. And a call, strike three. Great pitch by Jose Fernandez to get out of the inning. One, two, three, down they go. And we're going to go to the top half of the sixth inning, and Jose Fernandez finding his groove and helping his team to try to keep Prairie View at bay at one to nothing right here on the Swag Digital Network.
Who is USAA made for? It's made for this guy, a veteran who honorably served. And it's made for her. She's serving now. We made it for all branches and all ranks. Whether they served one tour or made a career of it, we also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. USAA is easy to work with and can save you money on auto, home, and renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Mega. Top half of the sixth inning right here at the Toyota Field, home of the Trash Pandas. Tyler Daniels, leadoff hitter for the Braves. He has a hit, a strikeout, and a stolen base so far today and right now they're looking to improve upon just two hits two errors no runs and if he can get on base that'll be a lift you know one of the things about this Huntsville area they really do support their athletics here they support their sports the hockey team even with UAH supported that they support they're going to support this team I believe you know it's, it's a great venue it's it's just outside of, of town you know, they really do get behind their teams a lot. Well, UAH really was a wake-up call because the university was deciding to discontinue hockey. Mm -hmm. And then because they have uh, quite a few players who are affiliated professionally in hockey and a couple of them who are uh, coaches in hockey, they were able to raise the funds not only to secure uh, the health of hockey, to make sure that they stay at a high level in collegiate hockey and possibly build them a new arena for yeah. hockey. And, you know, all that to say within the next five years and a strikeout there by Kyle Smith for a community that is steadily growing. And, you know, from the SWAC standpoint, Alabama A&M is trying to make sure that they stay on the high end of that wave of growth here within uh, the Huntsville area and with the new arena that they'll have coming online within a couple of seasons it should hit right on time Garcia trying to get his second hit of the day you know the other thing is that you are, they had another hurdle to overcome at UAH with hockey because you know when they were in the conference with Fair State and Bemidji and all those guys they decided to change the game and then kick them out basically of the conference mm -hmm. It's a tough go of it in the South when you don't have a lot of teams that play that sport. That one, a ball high to Garcia. Yeah, they had two teams they played in Alaska, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. That one fouled off, and yes, it hits in the club section. You know, if you're in the club section, you get a lot of foul balls over there. I think that's one of the reasons why they put a premium on that. You get nice food, nice drinks, and an occasional baseball hitting you in the face. <laughs> mm, it just happens that way. I'm not sure why. And bring your face mask. <laughs> you notice what the catcher is doing, you know, when, when you have to face a batter like this. He's actually – on a knee, and his leg is completely stretched out to get as low as he can. And which catcher used to do that a lot? Tony Pena. Tony Pena, yeah. He made that stance a uh, household stance for a number of years. Now, the difference is, and we're going to see Yabera get the catch for out number two. The difference is <coughs> for Pena... He would always put his leg out the opposite way that the batter was batting. Mm -hmm. And you see the catcher here, he's always going into the batter. So that's a, that's a little different. Now 
Kyle Jenkins to bat for Alcorn. And so far, Kyle Smith has kept them handcuffed. Trevino. And he's able to get out. One strikeout, no runs, no hits, no errors. And one strikeout, nobody left on base. We go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. One nothing is your score. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> The more phone, more fun, mega sale. Mega. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Call a credit repair company to fix my credit. Hold the phone, man. You can do it yourself with Credit Versio. That's way too hard. Call the credit repair company. Most credit repair companies only work on one or two accounts at a time, making it slow and expensive. You won't figure that out for months. <laughs> Ignore him. Credit Versio's brilliant software scans all three credit bureaus, finds the accounts that are hurting your score, and guides you through the entire process. Anyone can do it. Let's fast forward and see the results. <laughs> wow, I fixed my own credit and saved hundreds. You can do this. Visit creditversio.com. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's mega sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun mega sale. Mega. Welcome back to live coverage of the 2021 Cricket Wireless SWAC Baseball Tournament live from Toyota Field, home of the Rocket City Trash Pandas AA affiliate right outside of Huntsville, Alabama, in Madison, Alabama. Benjamin Yabera looking for his first hit. He did get on with an error, and he did score a run, but looking for his first official hit of the evening. And that one low to even account at one apiece. So far, Jose Fernandez is doing a pretty good job. Only throwing about 67 pitches, five strikeouts, three hits, and one earned run. But this and that one wasn't earned. It was a run off an error. This explains one and six. Mm -hmm. Because, you look, I mean, he can pitch. There's no question about that. Got good off-speed stuff. That sweeping curve is vicious. But the run support. Correct. It reminds me of Roger Clemens. Mm -hmm. Great numbers and for years on bad teams. Mm -hmm. Nolan Ryan, people like that. Had great stuff, but you were the best player on a team that could not give you the offensive support. Now, for all corn, it's yet to be seen if they can do that right here in the sixth. And now Pelinendo with the nice one right there in right field. You know, you got to give these players a lot of credit. Alcorn, because, of course, you had all the weather you had to deal with, injuries, along with the pandemic. First pitch with a ball. For Prairie View, they've had COVID issues all year long, not just in baseball, football, men's basketball, women's basketball, volleyball. Mm -hmm. they've, had, they've had problems all year long. And for the players to get to this point, I think it's, you know, even though there's only one winner in the tournament, it's something to be celebrated because this has been probably one of the more challenging years. I talked to coaches, and they were just like, this is unlike anything we've ever seen. Well, I think the challenge was there to see if it could be done. They had some conferences like the Ivy League that opted, you know what, we're not going to even take a chance. Yeah. Uh, you did have some other leagues that tried, and then a lot of schools opted out. But for the Southwestern Athletic Conference, uh, all teams bought in and credit uh, Dr. McClellan for using the minds of the people around him and also from the university presidents to come to a consensus and able to 
find a way to make it happen. Yeah, and I think jumping ahead, you know, really getting ahead of the game in the fall and saying, hey, we're going to play in the spring was really, really wise. I think, you know, a lot of people were like, well, why are they doing that? But I think when you start looking at what the conference had to get ready for and, you know, just looking at what all the other teams that were playing in the fall had to do. I mean, you know, look, I've talked to some of these business managers. Some of these, te some of these athletic programs have had to pay anywhere from a half a million to a million dollars just in testing. Yes. Just in testing. Yes. A strike out the left field and is going to find the gap. Smith is right there to bring it down. He's going to try for two slides in. Double for Braden Johnson. Now Prairie View has a running in scoring position with two outs. Good shot there by Johnson, his first hit of the day. And here comes Sebastian Correa. Take another look at the replay. And Bean just hits it right there to left center. And it stays more over to left. One bounce makes the play in order to try to keep him from getting a triple. That one inside to Korea. Yeah, when you're part of that protocol on a campus, you know, I know I had to be a part of that. And, you know, sometimes you test once a week. Sometimes it could be two, three times a week. You know, and you've done television. You know, you, every time you do a TV game, you got to test. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the TV crew wants you to do it twice, once within on a Wednesday or Thursday, and then once when you get to the stadium. Mm -hmm. These players are, you know, some of them three times a week, and he's three, four times a week. And then if you go through a COVID situation, you're testing almost every day. Mm -hmm. Call and swing and a strike for strike number two. On Korea with a runner in scoring position, two outs. Well, I think that the key, particularly when you're dealing with young people, is not just you. And that one bounces over. Good stop there by Jenkins. <coughs> it's not just you. It is the people who are around you. Yep. So if you did not have people around you who were as responsible as you were, That's then right. you could have gotten it just by being around those folks, and I think that was the hardest part. Swing and a miss, and Jose Fernandez gets out of a jam, and one hit, and one runner left on, and one strikeout as we go to the top of the seventh inning. One to nothing is your score, and we're looking to see if the Braves can get on the board right here on the SWAC Digital Network. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Time to call a credit repair company to fix my credit. Hold the phone, man. You can do it yourself with Credit Versio. That's way too hard. Call the credit repair company. Most credit repair companies only work on one or two accounts at a time, making it slow and expensive. You won't figure that out for months. <laughs> Ignore him. Credit Versio's brilliant software scans all three credit bureaus, finds the accounts that are hurting your score, and guides you through the entire process. Anyone can do it. Let's fast forward and see the results. <laughs> wow, I fixed my own credit and saved hundreds. You can do this. Visit creditversio.com. And we're back live here, top half of the seventh inning. Still, one nothing is your score. Brandon Rembert, the batter for the Braves, and trying to get on base, swing and a miss right there for strike number two. I think we said 13 batters have been retired in a row. Uh, no doubt for Kyle Smith. 
And a swing, and that evens the count at two apiece. Excuse me, yeah, two, two balls, two strikes. Yes, he is uh, taking down 13 straight. Second inning was the toughest inning for him so far. And that one missed on the inside. The ball looks like it broke a little late. Makes the count full at three and two. Those are tough pitches because you think that they're strikes, and then at the last minute, this goes to the outside. Mm -hmm. And that one called strike on the outside. And Rember can't believe it, and he is sat down. That was just a solid pitch. And that's the seventh strikeout of the day for Kyle Smith. Look at this pitch once again. Look at what this ball does. Boom, right there. Got him right at the knees as it crossed the plate and then dropped. Yeah, you see it cross right there. And you're just thinking, oh, no, there's just no way there. That's a strike. And then <laughs> he was looking more where the ball finished rather than where it crossed his knees. Where it crossed. That's it. Hunter Wilson up to bat for the Braves. Looking for his first hit. The new offensive guard for Alcorn. <laughs> oh, maybe. Call strike. Uh, that's, I think it's very wishful thinking, but uh, you never can tell. You never know what a young man can do over the summer. We call those guys buffet busters. Uh, well, I don't even know. if uh, Is anybody bringing the buffet? Is the buffet back? I don't know, you know. A few places that I've seen, not very many, though, man. Not many at all. I think the age of the buffet may be on its way out because now I know when we were in Mississippi for softball, some of the people went out to the casinos and they were saying that you can't pick your own food. They got to bring it to you, and that one was a little low. Keeps the count at two and two. They had to bring you the food every time you wanted it. Yeah. So I think, you know, s some restaurants won't be able to have the manpower. Yeah, that's right. Just, to, you know, you're constantly serving people left and right, left and right, left and right. Yeah, I don't know. I think that may be the end of an age. Garcia comes up. Nice underhand and gets it over to Martinez for out number two. I didn't know they uh, spoke. Okay, I think uh, message sent. Oh, yeah. Message received for those who indulge. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, look, you're at, you're at a, what, double or triple A, a double a ballpark here? Yeah, but I'm just saying, you know, the uh, shock value of saying that during the broadcast, yeah. Yeah. I think just caught folks off guard. And they got some people streaming at home, like, with their <laughs> adult beverage, like, what you mean last call? I'm at home. <laughs> the bar never closes oh, at the house, <laughs> at their chateau. <laughs> oh. That's I mean, funny. I'm serious. They got some people enthralled with this game, and they're, like, checking, like, well, oh, I'm not there. <laughs> you got a, one of those big 75-inch monster TVs in your man cave. Oh, yeah. You can lose yourself. And we thank everybody that's watching the SWAG Digital Network, wherever you may be, domestically or internationally, or even in your car. Some people, that's their oh, man no. cave. Oh, and you see Kyle Smith right there saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. And two strikeouts to add to his numbers. And take a look at it one more time. Oh, yeah, it's a little low. But he said, you know what? You got it. Look where that pitch crossed. Right there. That was close. And that was a good placement there by Tyler Gordon, the catcher. And I know Coyley is like, oh. Oh, I wanted that one back. So we'll take a break. We come back. Seventh inning stretch right here on the SWAC Digital Network. Step up and stretch a bit. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun Mega Sale. Mega. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun Mega Sale. Mega. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers. That motivates me today to focus on my future. 
We are the SWAC. We are the new Trailblazers. And this is my heritage. First pitch, it's going long. Back, 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 up against the wall. And it is a ground rule double. Talk about a way to start off an inning. Great way to start off the inning for Prairie View A&M. Look what the wind does to this ball. He takes this thing on a ride, and at first you're thinking this thing is gone. And then you know you have to make an adjustment. There it is. Oh, it stays in. Right. Oh, oh there. Oh. And it goes right off the, the fence and bounces up for a ground root double for Andrew Garcia, his first hit of the day. Those are those are tough balls to really uh, judge. And again, it got up in the wind. You see the flag out in left field. It is still blowing in. And this thing just took a ride. Looking to bunt pass ball. Jenkins unable to get it and moves Garcia over to third base. And now the insurance run. As Grandma used to say, you can never have too much insurance. And right now, Prairie View trying to work on that insurance, and Jenkins just lets it go right past him. He tries to scoop it up, keeping his eye on the base runner and taking his eye off the ball. Yep. And that was a mistake. You got to keep your eye on the ball there. And so now you got a guy at third. Nobody out here in the bottom half of the seventh inning. And Zach Trevino looking for his first hit. This has been a pitching duel. Good to look off the batter. Collie over to get the force out at first. Throwing it over to Hunter Wilson for out number one. And now we got a runner at third. And Garcia and one out. Good, solid defense there. Looking that runner off, making sure he's not going any, anywhere and then throwing it over to first base to get that out. And again, this is still just a one to nothing ball game. It's been a good defensive battle. Uh, pitches duel of sorts. Jose Fernandez with six strikeouts. Only one run. And he has not walked anyone. So, you know, if Alcorn does lose this game and they go into the loser's bracket tomorrow at 12, you know, the biggest thing for them is you got to get that run support. You got the pitching there, but you got to get that run support. But let's also remember they've only played about 16 games. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it, within a 16-game uh, sample, you're going to hit a lull, and this may be the time right now where they're in a lull and trying to work their way out of it. Yeah, and it's tough when you're in a lull at, at a tournament because – you know, day one, the, the, two, the two things that are the hardest is if you lose the first game at 9 in the morning and the last game of the night because, you know, if you're the 9 a.m. guy that you lost, first thing in the morning you got to get up and early in the morning and hopefully you don't get eliminated. Mm -hmm. The last one, all of a sudden, you know, oh, man, we're going to have to end there at 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. Got to be at a ballpark in 12 hours for mm -hmm. a 12 o'clock game. No doubt about it. Count two and two. One out to Tyler Gordon. Gordon taking his time to get into the box. Pitch from Fernandez. High for ball four. And now we've got runners on the corner, first and second, first and third, excuse me, with Damari Smith. And right now for the Panthers of purple and gold, they're anticipating some runs being scored right now with one out. Yeah, and then you also have some action going on in the Alcorn bullpen out, out there. As you get towards, this is what, bottom half of the seventh inning here. One of the things you don't want to do is let this game get away from you. A good bunt, and Wilson gets the out. Nice to stretch out and make the play, but a run does score for the Panthers. 
Garcia scores from third. Gordon moves over to second, and Smith is out with the sacrifice bunt. Look, look at my man being nimble, reaching out. Telling you, man, that dude moves, bro. He is really a great mover on his feet. Makes the play. And more importantly, that was just a heck of a bunt because it was out of the area where you had, could make a play at home plate. That was the most important thing. Good pitch in there for a strike. So now there's two outs here in the inning. And runner on second base. The ball low. Second base. Swing and a miss. So now if you're Alcorn, you're coming up to bat, your pitcher is giving you some great support. He's doing all he can. you got to get runners on the bags in this next half of the inning because you're running out of outs. No doubt about it. Outs are running out for the Braves. 2-2 two -two pitch. This one is fouled off by Jefferson. Playing from behind is tough. You're down – Two nothing right now, and you have not been able. You've gotten a couple of guys up. You know you've left a few guys stranded. One in the first, couple here in the fourth, one in the sixth inning. So you've had about four or five runs that have been stranded. But you know when you have to play from behind, it's always a sense of urgency, and that's when you tend to make your most mistakes. Ball high and makes the count full at three and two. Going to see who's out there warming up for Alcorn. Joe Smith. That one fouled off. Staying alive are the Panthers. Three two pitch. And this one going right over to Collie, makes an acrobatic play to make the stop and a nice throw over to Wilson to get out of the inning. One run will score. And now it is two nothing in favor of the Panthers as we go to the top half of the eighth inning. And one more look at it. Great job by Coyley in order to make the throw and get the out right here on the Swag Digital Network. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Top half of the eighth inning, two to nothing in favor of Prairie View A&M. And for the Braves, Khalil Smith looking for his first hit of the day, and the bats need to come alive. Only two hits so far for the Purple and Gold Braves, and no runs. 
I remember when Barrett Ray was a head coach and it was a game at, I think it was Grambling or Southern, and they had not hit the ball well the entire game. And, you know, he, he woke the bats up, threw all the bats out of the dugout. He got uh, thrown out of the game for it, but, I mean, you know, he threw all the bats out of the dugout and woke the bats up. He ended up winning that game. <laughs> I could see that. I could see that. <laughs> oh, I could see that. That fits Barrett's personality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's mellow now. Yeah, he's an athletic director, so he's real. Yeah, mellow. he's mellow. Mm -hmm. He's mellow now. <laughs> My friend, Barrett Ray. St. Aug product. The St. Augustine athletic director, yes. Mm -hmm. They were all on pins and needles, and they finally have an alumnus who have won an Academy Award. Nice. So uh, Mr. John Batiste, the uh, musical director for one of the late shows, he won one for the um, uh, animated movie Soul. Really? Yes, and he is a St. Augustine graduate. So it was uh, high times if you wear purple and gold and have the S and the A on your jacket. Two two to Khalil Smith trying to get on base. Down to nothing here in the top half of the gate. And here we go. He may be able to do it. And not in time to get on base. Great throw there by Garcia. And Martinez does a good job to get back by out number one. Yeah, and you can see where <laughs> he stumbled a little bit as he went and got this ball. Able to get it to him, and good job of just gaining his control. Take another look at it, and that's where the uh, nonverbal communication. I know he's got it, so mm -hmm. let me get over to first base and do my job. And now Tyler Smith, the bat for Alcorn. First pitch was a ball. This one foul. Third base coach able to pick it up and throw it back in. You ever had a coach that looked at you and you were just like, just just yell at me. Don't look at me like that. Uh, many times. Mm -hmm. uh, but they don't, they don't want to yell because if they yell, they may get kicked out of the game. You've got some coaches that say something so bad to where even the umpire like, uh, <laughs> I don't care you say that to your own player. You got to get out of here with that. Is that in the Bible? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and break you down. Good pitch. And call strike for out number two. Another K, the ninth strikeout of the evening for Kyle Smith. And he's just up to 98 pitches, but he has pitched a masterful game. So, I mean, just look at that, the way that where it crossed that, not where it finishes. Mm -hmm. And as it goes across that plate, it's right at the knees. Well, you got to know when you got two strikes against you, now is not the time to be picky. Yeah. You've got to fight and stay alive. Bentoncourt now, the nine-hole hitter, trying to start something with two outs here in the top half of the eighth inning. Fifteen strike, fifteen retired batters in a row, I believe now. Yes. Smith is in a groove, and for Prairie View, this is even bigger because – if they can let him go the distance, that means they've only used one pitcher for one game. And that is exactly what you want to do in tournament play. The deeper that you have to go within your bullpen on day one, the harder it is to fight out of that loser's bracket if you drop a game. You know, we've seen guys that, okay, you've played this one, and now you've, here comes a reliever, and here comes two. You put four pitchers in the ball game, and now you're just like, oh, we've got an elimination game tomorrow we have to play, and then another one the next day. That one outside for a ball. Yeah, but it's always a challenge when you have to be able to fight back from, you know, using all your arms in the first day because you're just trying to stay alive. And, you know, and some coaches just like, you know what, we'll live to fight another day. I'm not going to use all my arms. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. They will concede. 2-2 mm -hmm. two -two pitch. Oh. And that one high for ball three to make the count full. 
tough pitch right there. As Betancourt, Betancourt thought that he had a strike, uh, that uh, for a minute I thought he thought he had a strike. And there's a ball, and ball four, and Betancourt quickly takes off all his protective gear and says, wow, I'm getting over to first base. His first time making it to first in tonight's game, and now to the top of the order with Tyler Daniels. I really thought Bencourt was there, and he was like, I, th I thought it was a strike myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was just trying to get all that gear off as quickly as possible as Daniels gets into the box. And now with a runner on, two outs, can they keep this offensive vibration going? Hmm. Good take there by Daniels. Well, Dan if, go ahead. Well, uh, you know, and, and here's where Daniels has to really be careful here because you don't want to get behind an account. And Garcia gets it over to Martinez for out number three. And we have one walk, no hits, no errors, and one man left on as we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Two-nothing is your score. And Prairie View looking for a little bit more insurance before everybody can smile right here on the SWAC Digital Network. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers. That motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers. That motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Who is USAA made for? It's made for this guy, a veteran who honorably served. And it's made for her. She's serving now. We made it for all branches and all ranks. Whether they served one tour or made a career of it, we also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. USAA is easy to work with and can save you money on auto, home, and renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Bottom half of the eighth inning. And now this one over to Coily for the easy out to Hunter Wilson. And we got an out. And now it'll be Martinez after Yabera grounded out. And not a lot of hits between the two teams combined only seven hits and two runs, two errors by Alcorn. But right now, if you're a Prairie View, you're just trying to do whatever it takes to get a little insurance. One more run, if you can help it, can definitely push you closer to remaining undefeated in this tournament. Good stop there by Corley. His second try and another out great extension by hunter wilson in order to make sure they get the out for the second out of the inning you know i look at, at Fort fernandez numbers 270 era he's made nine appearances eight games that he started has a complete game and a save 49 strikeouts coming into the tournament mm -hmm. he's only given up 20 walks only 16 earned runs but he's one in six mm-hmm and, you know, he may get another complete game here just being a loss. Mm -hmm. And but so they, now you know one in six why you're not getting what you really want. And right. it's really well, not him. Right. Well, with a 16-game 
completed schedule, it's kind of hard for your offense, unless you've got ultra-talented guys, mm -hmm. to get on track in 16 games. Most of the time, it'll take you 20, 25 games at least to start to see some consistency in your offense. That one fouled back. Johnson looking for his second hit of the day. Yeah, it's awfully tough. And, you know, sometimes you, you see this because of it as well. You know, mm -hmm. six wins on a year. I mean, even if you look now at, and he wants to get the first base umpire, says no, he did not go. Uh, you look at even a little league team, 16 games would be a very, very short season. Oh, yeah. So you're saying for a collegiate team, they only had a chance to play 16 games between February and May. And now a high fly ball. Smith coming in and makes the catch. One, two, three. Down goes Prairie View as we go now to the top of the ninth. It'll be three outs now for Alcorn. And if their offense came alive, now would be the time. We'll see if it can happen right here on the Swag Digital Network. Stay tuned. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun Mega Sale. Mega. Your mom's been posting a lot since she got that phone at Cricket's Mega Sale. Every day. Here's a comment. We stand. Oh, mom. You have a cool mom. <laughs> the more phone, more fun Mega Sale. Mega. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. And now for Kyle Smith, he's going to try to go to distance. 109 pitches so far, nine strikeouts. Only two hits, three walks. He did hit a batter. But outside of that hit by pitch early on, he has been pretty good. And, you know, I wish we could have uh, pitcher vision and show you his pitcher. During the uh, beginning of the season, he was a bearded wonder, and now he's clean-shaven. <laughs> and I think he knew he was going to be on the stream, and he got clean-shaven so everybody back home <laughs> could see him in a better light. Uh, the bearded wonder. It's amazing uh, what uh, the pandemic has allowed people to do with their hair, beards, all of that kind of stuff. Garcia trying to start something here for Prairie View. Their last three outs of – their first game here in the swag tournament. O2 pitch coming from Smith. Nice shot. Good stop there by Martinez, and he's able to get the out. Gets the throw over there to... Kyle Smith and a good play there by Martinez. Just a heck of a defensive play. And, I mean, it was a line shot that he had to just stretch out for. This is where good defense comes into play. The pitcher, if he doesn't start hustling out to that base, that's a base hit. And so great job by the pitcher by hustling over there, but an even better job defensively for the first baseman to cover so much ground to get that ball for a shot in and out. Now with one out, Kyle Jenkins trying to keep things alive, keep it going. Jenkins walked once, struck out once. Just to the inside on that one. Oof. Prairie 
Prairie View A&M two outs away from moving on to the next round undefeated. Call strike. Two and one. Again, if you are the winner of this game, you'll play at noon or the six o'clock tomorrow. Loser will play at twelve noon. And that one's out of play, and everybody's clearing out. <laughs> uh, the the objective is when it goes foul, you want to catch it, not duck. Well, and and when it went up in the air, you saw one lady duck at first. And then it bounced, and she had to duck again. Yes. Double duck. Two and two to Jenkins. That one going right over to Trevino. Nice, easy throw for out number two, and they are one out away from getting their first victory here on the first night of the 2021 Cricket Wireless Swag Baseball Tournament. The loser plays at noon against Alabama State. Winner plays 6 p.m. against Southern. And you can hear the Prairie View and m faithful clapping it up. And for Alcorn, now it comes down to Brandon Rembert. Good pitch. And a call strike. And looks like we got a pinch hitter in Devin Puckett. And Puckett comes in out of Wayne, Michigan. And now 0-2, oh, and two, is it 0-2 or 0-1 oh, to count? 0-2, oh, oh, yeah. So now down this final strike. Oh, check that. That's still not him. That is Rembert still batting. And a call strike for strike three, and Kyle Smith is celebrating because Prairie View A&M has walked away with the victory. Two to nothing is your score, and the celebration begins for the purple and gold out of Texas as Alcorn's Rembrandt is caught looking with two strikes on him in the top half of the ninth, and you can see the celebration in the background. Another great pitch. And Smith is right there. Showing one more time the last pitch by Kyle Smith. He goes the distance, and yes, he is hyped up. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap things up here at Toyota Field right here on the Swag Digital Network. We are the Swag. Our heritage lifts us to great heights. Because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivate me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Was USAA made for? It's made for this guy, a veteran who honorably served, and it's made for her. She's serving now. We made it for all branches and all ranks. Whether they served one tour or made a career of it, we also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. USAA is easy to work with and can save you money on auto, home, and renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. was USAA made for? It's made for this guy, a veteran who honorably served, and it's made for her. She's serving now. We made it for all branches and all ranks. Whether they served one tour or made a career of it, we also made USAA okay. for military spouses and their kids. USAA is easy to work with and can save you money on auto, home, and renter's insurance. Become a member today. Call us for a quote. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for.
And the good thing about the 2021 Cricket Wireless SWAC Baseball Tournament Day 1, no one goes home. Everybody comes back tomorrow and gets an opportunity to play Centauri. Yes, and, you know, that's always good. You know, that's the good news. The good news is, is you lose on the first day, you get a chance at another day. Bad news is the next day you lose, you're going home if you've already lost one game. And we've got a few teams that are in that predicament right now as we look at the top half of the bracket. Alabama A&M and Texas Southern will play the grits and eggs session of baseball tomorrow, 9 a.m. Winner goes on, loser goes home. And in the top half of that bracket, Grambling will take on Jackson State. That'll be at 3 p.m. The winner moves on to Friday uh, at 3 p.m. The loser will have to play at 9 a.m on Friday against the winner of the A&M Texas Southern game. Bottom half of the bracket, Alabama State and Alcorn will play the noon game tomorrow. The winner will move on to play at noon on Friday. The, then, of course, Southern and Prairie View will play in the bottom half of that bracket. If the winner of that game goes on to play Friday at 6 p.m., loser plays uh, against the loser of the a and or the winner against Alabama State Alcorn on Friday at noon. So, Got some teams that have that we're now seeing on the bottom half. They are familiar with each other. Southern and Prairie View played earlier this season. Alabama State Alcorn played earlier this season. The other side, it's it's a cross divisional uh, matchups. Grambling and Jackson they played twice this season. A uh, and M and Texas Southern they're playing each other, I believe, for the first time this year. So, you got uh, two two different things going on in those brackets. I think it's going to be some interesting uh, uh, baseball there. Southern Prairie View is going to be interesting, but I'm really interested in seeing how Texas Southern and A&M works out and see how they bounce back. And we will see tomorrow A&M and Texas Southern top of the morning, 9 a.m. is your first pitch. And let's wrap up this game for Alcorn and Prairie View A&M final line. For the Braves, no runs, two hits, two errors. And for Prairie View A&M, two runs, five hits, no errors. The winning pitcher, Kyle Smith of the Panthers, nine innings, 121 pitches, only two hits, three walks, 10 strikeouts for Kyle Smith and the losing pitcher, Jose Fernandez. Eight innings of work, 110 pitches, five hits, one walk, six strikeouts. And your final score, two to nothing in favor of the Panthers. We thank you all for joining us for Centuria Black. I'm James Red, and for all of the people with the SWAC Digital Network, we bid you farewell from Madison, Alabama, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Good night. I'm really not looking forward to calling this credit repair company. Fresh meat for the monthly fee grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, check this out. With Credit Versio, you can do everything yourself without having to call someone, and it's easy and fast. Sweet. Credit Versio scans all three credit bureaus, finds the accounts hurting your credit, and creates powerful dispute letters. This is way faster and cheaper than paying a credit repair company. That was easy. I can do this. I'm really not looking forward to calling this credit repair company. I'm gonna call a credit repair company to fix my credit. Hold the phone, man. You can do it yourself with Credit Versio. That's way too hard. Call the credit repair company. Most credit repair companies only work.